Welcome to the We Level Up Treatment Center video series. In today's video we will discuss Schizophrenia Causes What is Schizophrenia? Schizophrenia is a serious mental condition that impacts a person's thoughts, feelings, and actions. People with schizophrenia may seem like they have lost touch with reality, which causes significant distress for the individual, their family members, and friends. If left untreated, the symptoms of schizophrenia can be disabling and persistent. However, effective treatments are available. When provided in a timely, sustained, and coordinated manner, therapy and treatment can help affected individuals engage in work or school, achieve independence, and enjoy personal relationships. A diagnosis of schizophrenia frequently follows the first episode of psychosis, when someone first displays symptoms of this mental illness. However, Gradual mood, thinking, and social functioning changes often begin before the first episode of psychosis, usually starting in mid-adolescence. Schizophrenia can happen in younger children, but it is rare to emerge before late adolescence. Schizophrenia is treatable. Treatment with medicines and psychosocial support is effective. According to the World Health Organization WHO, research has not identified one single factor that causes schizophrenia. It is thought that interaction between genes and various environmental factors may cause this mental disease. Psychosocial factors may also contribute to schizophrenia. Schizophrenia causes affected individuals to view events in their life abnormally. Delusions, hallucinations, and disorganized thought are characteristic of this disease. Living with schizophrenia is challenging and demanding, as daily functioning can be severely affected. For several years, researchers have studied the schizophrenia causes, and the mental disease remains a mystery in many ways. Schizophrenia Causes The exact schizophrenia causes are still unknown. Research suggests a combination of genetic, psychological, physical, and environmental factors can make an individual more likely to develop the condition. Some individuals may be predisposed to this disease, and an emotional or stressful life event might trigger a psychotic episode. However, it's unknown why some individuals develop symptoms while others do not. Increased Risk of Schizophrenia Genetics Schizophrenia seems to run in families, but no single gene is thought to be responsible. Different varieties of genes may make individuals more vulnerable to the condition. However, having these genes does not necessarily indicate you'll develop schizophrenia. Brain Development Studies of individuals with this mental illness have shown slight brain structure differences. These changes are not seen in everyone with schizophrenia and can happen in individuals who do not have a mental illness. But they suggest schizophrenia may partly be a disorder of the brain. Neurotransmitters Neurotransmitters are chemicals that carry messages between brain cells. There's a connection between schizophrenia and neurotransmitters because medications that alter the levels of neurotransmitters in the brain are known to relieve some of the symptoms of schizophrenia. Research suggests schizophrenia may be caused by a change in the level of two neurotransmitters, serotonin and dopamine. Some studies reveal an imbalance between the two may be the basis of the issue. Others have found a change in the body's sensitivity to the neurotransmitters is part of the cause of schizophrenia birth complications and pregnancy. Research has shown individuals who develop schizophrenia are more likely to have undergone complications before and during their birth, such as a low birth weight, premature labor, a lack of oxygen, asphyxia, during birth. It may be that these things have a subtle effect on brain development. Viral infections. Exposure to viruses is a contributing factor in the development of schizophrenia. There are a variety of traits of viruses that might make this possible. For example, viruses can attack certain brain regions and leave others intact, alter specific processes within a brain cell without killing the cell, infect someone and then lay dormant for many years before causing illness, cause minor physical abnormalities, birth complications, and altered fingerprint patterns sometimes found in people with schizophrenia. Affect Neurotransmitters It is also important to note that some antipsychotic agents are also antiviral agents. 
which can support the idea that viral infections can play a role in developing schizophrenic symptoms, particularly psychotic symptoms. Schizophrenia triggers. Because researchers don't completely understand schizophrenia causes, there's no sure way to prevent it. However, following your treatment plan can lessen the probability of relapse or aggravating symptoms if you've been diagnosed with this mental disorder. Also, if you know that you're at an increased risk for the mental disorder, such as by a genetic tie, you can avoid potential triggers or things that can cause symptoms. Triggers are things that can cause schizophrenia to develop in individuals who are at risk. These include Triggers are things that can cause schizophrenia to develop in individuals who are at risk. These include Stress The main psychological triggers of schizophrenia are stressful life events, such as Bereavement, death of a loved one Losing your job or home Divorce The end of a relationship Physical, sexual, or emotional abuse These types of experiences, although stressful, do not cause schizophrenia. However, they can trigger its development in someone already vulnerable to it. These types of experiences, although stressful, do not cause schizophrenia. However, they can trigger its development in someone already vulnerable to it. Drug abuse. Drugs do not directly cause schizophrenia, but studies have shown drug misuse increases the risk of developing the disease or a similar illness. Certain drugs, particularly marijuana, cocaine, LSD, or amphetamines, may trigger symptoms of schizophrenia in people who are at risk. Using illegal stimulants like cocaine and crystal meth can lead to psychosis and can cause a relapse in individuals recovering from an earlier episode. Childhood Trauma Childhood trauma is also thought to be a contributing factor in developing schizophrenia. Some individuals with schizophrenia experience hallucinations related to abuse or neglect they experienced as children. People are also more likely to develop schizophrenia if as children, they experience the death or permanent separation of one or both parents. This kind of trauma is tied to various other adverse early experiences, so it's still unclear if this trauma is a cause of schizophrenia or just associated with the condition. Exposure to toxins Being exposed to harmful toxins is suggested to play a role in developing schizophrenia, even as early as during fetal development. Toxins that have been researched to show possible influence include alcohol and lead. Exposure to lead during fetal development has been shown to greatly influence the likelihood of the development of schizophrenia and psychosis. Lead can be found in things such as gasoline, paint, tap water, children's toys, Although measures have been taken in recent years to remove lead from the things we come in contact with every day, it is crucial to be aware that chemical lead can still be in our environment. For example, if a home was painted with lead paint before 1978, it can still release this toxin. Treatment Schizophrenia is a lifelong condition, but effective treatment can help a person manage the symptoms, prevent relapses, and avoid hospitalization. Each person's experience will differ, and a doctor will tailor the treatment to suit the individual. Some potential treatment options include Antipsychotic drugs These can be for daily use or for less frequent use if the person opts for injectable medications, which can last up to three months between injections, depending on the medication. Counseling This can help a person develop coping skills and pursue their life goals. Coordinated Special Care This integrates medication, family involvement, and education services holistically. Visit the We Level Up Florida Behavioral Recovery Center and talk with faculty members. There you can find outdoor areas for patients to recuperate and rebound. Witness how you can feel at home at We Level Up FL's Behavioral Center. If you have questions regarding your diagnosis or want licensed guidance or therapy for the schizophrenia causes, please get in touch with us. That's it for today. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Like, share and comment. We would love your feedback.
Have a great day.